Nice little oven bird. You know what this bird sings? Teacher, 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 teacher. Good afternoon, Wells Reserve and Lord Home Trust. Cuban speaking. Yes, just a moment. The thing that really got me started was the fact that my father handed me a salt shaker when I was about eight years old, and he told me that if I went out in the backyard and sprinkled this on the bird's tail, I could catch him. And I'm convinced that's really what piqued my curiosity to begin with, because I spent months in the backyard trying to chase down birds with the salt shaker. My alarm goes off at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we're off to Briarfield. By 6 o'clock, I'm usually driving down to set up the first of the six 12-meter mist nets that we're operating. If I see that a bird is beginning to get a little bit shocky, I'll cut the net. I can always buy another net, but I don't want anything happening to that bird. And if I do have a bird, the first thing is to put a band. I have a banding plier that has a little knob on it and, and I insert that inside the butt end band and open up the band so I can apply it to the tarsus. Then you need to measure the wing cord. The bird is breeding. You can't tell whether it's male or female unless it has a brood patch or what we call a cloacal protuberance. That's the vent that becomes swollen and bulbous. And so if that happens, then I'm able to sex the birds. I also look for feather wear, and I also look to see if there's any new uh, plumage coming in. The last thing to do is to weigh the bird. Say one of my birds is caught someplace else. They can find out who banded the bird, everything about the bird. One thing that I'm noticing is that I'm not getting some of the species that I used to get. Numbers are dropping down. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, we have a cat bird. There are so many questions that you still, we, a lot of people still don't have. And I hope we never really find out all about them. But you know, each time I come back or somebody comes back, it's like Christmas every time you open the bag because you never know what's going to be there. I, I just, uh, I, I love birds. The heartbeat is so entirely different. <laughs> it to me sounds sort of like a cat purring, sort of. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, somebody's talking to you. And when you think about a bird, for heaven's sake, just that ball of feathers, and you know, they fly as high as 25, 30,000 feet in the air. Imagine that. That little warblers, unbelievable. I have a favorite bird that I banded when I was on a banding expedition in Belize, Central America. It's called a red-capped mannequin, and he's gorgeous. He has a little black body and a red cap, and he has yellow pantaloons. <laughs>